There are several instances of caste discrimination and atrocities reported in Tamil Nadu. In January 2023 alone, there were three major incidents in three different districts. In Salem, a panchayat president from the ruling Dravada Muneta Kadaham publicly abused a Dalit youth for entering into the temple there. In Kalakurchi district, a Dalit youth was heckled by the dominant caste people when he had interacted with his friend from their caste. Further widespread violence took place. In Thiruvannamalai district, Dalits were permitted to enter a temple after 80 years. In this video, NewsClick compiles the reported cases and also an activist from the Tamil Nadu Untouchability Eradication Front explains the issues in detail and their interventions. Social media went viral. Uh, one Mr. Manikam, a Panchayat President of Thirumalai Giri Panchayat in Southwest Taluk of Salem District, abusing Praveen a Dalit youth for entering the village uh, Mariamman Temple on 26th uh, January. Praveen belongs to the same Panchayat, entered the temple uh, because of there is a festival in the temple where the dominant caste people uh, they pointed out uh, Praveen and asked him why you have entered the temple, how dare you enter the temple. So he was questioning back them that why can't I enter the temple because this temple belongs to my village and I am part of this village uh, for which they were, um, they, they made him to go out of the temple. On 27th January the next day, the Manikam, the Panchayat president of the village and he is also a uh, uh, party functionary uh, of uh, uh, DM, ruling DMK party. He went to the village and he abused Praveen in front of all the villages in a very, very filthy language using the caste name, which is an offence according to the Scheduled Caste and Scheduled Tribes Prevention of Atrocities Act. Just for entering the temple, uh, the video went viral on the social media. The CPIM and the Tamil Nadu Untouchability Eradication Front took the issue very seriously and uh, uh, we uh, pressurized the po uh, police to file an FIR and arrest the party functionary, uh, Mr. Manikam. Rather, the police was trying to uh, convince the Dalit boy, Praveen and the uh, villagers not to file a case and to go in a very peaceful manner. So, with our pressure, from the pressure from the Untouchability Eradication Front, along with the CPIM party, the district secretary went there. So, he was pressurizing the uh, government and uh, the uh, TNUF uh, issued the press statement to all the press that condemning this incident. So, uh, reacting to that pressure, the district administration uh, took necessary steps and arrested Manikam and the party uh, has Tem uh, has suspended the um, uh, suspended Manikam from the primary membership of the party. Kallakurichi district, Shankarapuram Taluk, Mungil Thuraipati village, Ambedkar Nagar, Dalit youth. He went to a nearby village, belongs to a dominant caste people for a temple festival. There he met his classmate uh, who belongs to a dominant caste and they were talking in a very friendly manner for which the other youth from the dominant caste was, were, was ab were abusing the dominant caste youth that why, how can you so casually call and talk with a Dalit youth uh, of our village. So, in which a, a, a clash happened there on 18th January 2013. After that, uh, next day, the, uh, many people, around 200 people from the dominant caste village entered Ambedkar Nagar and they just vandalized the village, entire village. Uh, they, uh, they broken houses, two wheelers, nearly 50 two wheelers were broken, completely broken and their whatever small savings Dalit people have uh, including uh, televisions and all other assets of the, of the small assets of them were brutally vandalized and they were entirely broken. They, uh, uh, TNUF um, went to the village, went to the spot and stood with the Dalit people and took the issue to the district administration and made the police to file an FIR. The police filed an FIR and arrested very few of the people who came and vandalized the village. Uh, according, um, parallelly, the, the false case was filed against the Dalit youths from by the dominant caste people for which 12 Dalit youths were also arrested and the issue is still going on. More than 50 houses of Dalit people have been completely vandalized and all their assets were broken. 
in spite of all this serious offence, the Patali Makkal Kachi, uh, which is uh, is for, is the is saying that it's a savior of the uh, one year community is has issued a statement that it is not a caste based issue it is because of the uh, small petty um, petty fight because of the alcohol uh, consumption of youths this is completely a diversion of the mass atrocity happened to dalits tnuf will strong is strongly condemning this statement this false allegations of the pmk and will ensure that this false allegation will not sustain and due justice is uh, delivered to Dalit people. In Tiruvannamalai district, at Tenmudiyanur village, there is a uh, very old uh, temple, Muthumari Amman temple. Before 50 years in that village, Dalit people were allowed entry in that village around nearly 2500 Dalit families are living and uh, dominant caste people are also living together but before 50 years due to some issues Dalits were not allowed to enter the temple from then and uh, the Dalit people recently the dominant caste people are celebrating 12 days Pongal festival in the temple in which Dalit people also wanted to participate and in 2019 they gave a petition to the, this temple is governed by the HR and uh, Hindu religious uh, charitable uh, trust so they mm. gave a petition to HR HR and C that they also want the entry to entry to the temple in for which the HR and C arranged a peace meeting uh, and agreed that it will ensure the Dalits to entry enter the temple the dominant caste uh, people particularly of uh, the Udayar community people they were just opposing that if they enter the temple then the temple will become polluted how can how, how will we enter the temple so they should not enter the, and the government should not allow the Dalits to enter the temple but consistently the people and the village and the movements were insisting the government to ensure the worshipping rights of the Dalits in that temple uh, January 30th the Dalits uh, entered the temple the CPIM and the uh, Tamil Nadu Untouchability Eradication Front supported the people and it went along the people into the temple and on 30th January uh, the worshipping right of the Dalits were ensured in, in that district. Caste atrocities has no end in the state. In fact, it is on the rise or more cases are being reported.